a little uh, mini water bottle configured to run as an electrostatic motor. And the uh, interesting thing about this, this runs about as good as anything else I've ever built <laughs> as far as an electrostatic motor. And uh, you wouldn't think it would work. You'd think there's way too much friction, uh, it's too rough. But you know what, that thing runs darn good. And uh, I'm using a uh, 3.7 volt lithium battery. Uh, it's uh, one of those 18650 batteries to drive a uh, 7 kV high voltage uh, generator. I got it on eBay. It was real cheap. And the um, thing is just hot wired right to the setup. Now on the bottom I've got a very sim simple brush. Every once in a while it arcs. And then on the uh, other side is another brush that taps the rotor and there's uh, four segments on it and let me stop this I don't want to get shocked because you can really zap yourself if you're not careful but there's the four segments and the way it sets up is uh, you get a charge on one plate, positive and negative, and it pushes with using the Coulomb effect. It's not electromagnetic, it's electrostatic. So when you get this going, let's see if I can get it going here. There it goes. What you get is a, uh, a plus minus charge on those plates, and then it's discharged with the other uh, brush basically and uh, you get this uh, rotating effect and like I say this runs about as good as any, any electrostatic motor that I've ever made I was surprised because it's just paper clip on a plastic water bottle using a tongue depressor and you, I wouldn't have thought there would have been enough force to make that thing spin up like that, but there it is. Now, there have been other, a gazillion other of these water bottles um, used as electrostatic motors, but they usually orient them vertically with uh, soda cans on each side, and uh, they tap the, the bottle and it goes around like this. But this uh, horizontal mount bottle, um, like I say, I was very surprised that it, it actually worked. Uh, because of the the weight and the friction and all that. Now that tape is for balance so I could balance it up a little bit better. And if it's not balanced up it won't rev up very good. Plus it starts vibrating really bad. Every once in a while that thing arcs down there. Makes a pretty good zap. And like I say I don't want to get shocked. But uh, that's uh, that's this little mini water bottle set up as an electrostatic motor and I keep going back to this science fair project idea but you could set up two of these one running electrostatically and one running electromagnetically and have in your display the uh, explanation of the two different forces electromagnetic and electrostatic and this is an electrostatic motor thanks for watching